Hello, I'm green. And I'm purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. We're gonna fight Bulbon. Here we go. Oh, he's a lion. Or a tiger or something. Oh, there she oh, is. Oh, she's trying to do the lion pose, too. Bowerman, you're here! Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> and Bowerman's like, I'm into Yo, that. Yo, you can do his voice. What? Well, Bowerman no, here! No, 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 Bowerman. Oh. What? Well, Bowerman here! Oh, okay. You want to silver that robot's fate? Oh. I wasn't OP enough. He cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Peabot has been turned to stone by Bulbon's magic. Okay, thanks for expositing that. We could not figure that out. <laughs> Come get me, I'm waiting. Oh, he's freaking moonwalking. Oh, snap. Oh, wait, yeah, we gotta go to... Go to the third dimension? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> We're just going higher up in the temple. Bomberman doesn't even care, he's just like... Mm. This guy, when I was younger, this guy actually gave me a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah? So we'll see if that... We'll see if stayed. he still does. Yeah. I know one thing, uh, I have to hit his blue crystal on his forehead. <laughs> it's just like, like, well, where did they go? <laughs> okay. She could have just run away at that point. Why'd she just keep laying there? Yeah, if I don't hit that little crystal on his head, it doesn't count. Or on his tail, he has a little... Okay, yeah, see, for the example right here, I have to hit him on his tail now. Oh, okay. Basically, it w anything that's blue. But Caleb, everything's blue. Ah! Ah! I'm blue. You're blue. That, that... Daba diva die. I'm blue. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, that the antenna on his back seems like kind of an afterthought. Oh jeez. It just kind of pops out of nowhere. It's like some reject mythical Ow. creature. It's like he has the body of a lion and a big antenna on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Ah! That's a stone breath. You. Is it like that breath you get in the morning whenever your like mouth's been open all night? <laughs> no. So can you hit it, the little shooter things on his front? Those mm. are blue. I th I'm not sure if those actually count. Nope. They oh, I guess they do. Did I do it though? Cause that was bad. Yeah. Mm. This We're is a little bit off. This is that. why he gave me so much trouble. Oh, you have to beat him so quickly. Yeah. I mean, we can't get gold on this. Anyway. Either. Anyway, since we have to go back to that one level. Thank you, Bomberman. I'm back to normal. Could have done it myself, but I guess you helped. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> get on still. Don't get look so happy about it. <laughs> Don't get a big head. <laughs> I like how we haven't like said any of his actual lines. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, we have. Well, some of them. What are you talking about? It's pretty... I mean, like... He, he's basically saying that. <laughs> All he's been saying the entire time is the equivalent of Toad in, like, Super Mario <laughs> Brothers. It's like, ah, you missed the princess, oh well. Silver, and I'm okay with that. We'll come back later. Bonus stage! Yeah, that one stage, I'll do... Whoa! I'll do that off camera. Um, if you guys are like, wait, you gotta show it! Go, um... Go to the wiki or whatever. <laughs> you can We're look. not your parents! Like, I don't know, it's like... You guys know I'm not gonna be cheating. I'm like, there's no way I can cheat. There's no <laughs> cheat code I can put we, in. We don't have a game genie for Nintendo oh, 64. <laughs> so uh, here we go, Planet Forma Zone. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Bulbun again. Bulby, sorry. <laughs> you should give him a Bulby voice. I'm glad to show you. Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Bulby would have been, like, really terrifying in Jimmy Neutron if he ever got angry. Yeah. He seems like one of those people that would have just, like, freaking destroyed everybody if he got angry. And it's like, it's one of the things I don't really ever, uh, I can't remember a specific instance where I've ever actually gotten angry. Right. And so, I don't know, it's, it's always been weird for me seeing, like, people get really angry at things. Oh, like me, for example? Because I've, I've just never experienced that emotion, really. I've gotten annoyed and I've gotten frustrated with things, but I've never gotten, like, completely angry. And I've so, only seen you get completely angry a couple times. Twice, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, if you're like, oh man, Kale gets really mad when he plays video games, there have been times when I've <laughs> gotten, like, I've gotten mad at a person. Like, legit anger. Okay, I did it. Oh, just, is he dead? Yeah. Like... What you guys are seeing on the show is more just like rage, yeah, quitting or like 
or like frustration. But I've gotten like legit mad before, yeah. and uh, it's not pretty. I like I scare myself. I don't like getting angry. I don't like being mean to people because that side of me comes out, and like it's like okay, bye. We're, we're in my zone. Yeah. Uh, Louis Jungle. This we're introduced to Louis King Louis. No. That, that orangutan from the Jungle Book? No, I wish. I wish, though. <laughs> I cannot remember the movie The Jungle Book very well. My zone star has many high places, like Colorado. I could reach all of them, because <laughs> I'm awesome. Louis lives here. He's a lot of help. You'll he need... plays a mean trumpet. <laughs> You'll need his help, because you are scrub. Hip, hip, cheerio. That's Louis. Oh, he's a kangaroo. And by let's, I mean you. I don't <laughs> need him. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm going back home. I killed all of your family. Moving on. <laughs> I was like, cool! Yeah, this is a... Lu this isn't Louis' first appearance. Louis has appeared in, like, the old Bomberman games. Is he the Yoshi of Bomberman? Yeah, I guess you could pretty much uh, say that. Jeez. <laughs> so what were you talking about? Are you getting angry? Um, I, like, um, I think I said I left off, like, I scare myself. Like, I don't like getting, like mad or yelling at people because it's like I just don't like being that guy. I don't like being the bad guy, you know? You feel bad about it? Yeah, I, I do, I do. Like, those two times that I did get seriously mad at, like, said person. Was um, the se who was the, the second time? I the second time? Um, or just remind me of the circumstances. I could probably figure it out. Oh, dear. I don't even think I really remember. But I remember there was twice. There was a second time when I got really mad mm -hmm. and uh but yeah i felt bad because it's just i don't know i don't like i don't maybe to some people they're like yeah i like yelling at people but for me i don't like that it's just well, for some people it gives them kind of a sense of power like they like asserting dominance over other people and it's like i yelled because like i felt like it was like a last resort that was like the only way i was gonna get that person to like listen to me you know mm -hmm. it's like i have a huge tolerance for like bullshit but <laughs> like obviously everyone has their limit and they that person snapped it well in a, in a lot of cases the problem is, is like getting mad at a lot of people that are already pushing you over the edge is just gonna make them like more prone to like getting on your nerves you know right. what I mean? Yeah, like, I can give it... The first time that I did get angry, like... What... Since I met him. Uh, it was... It was like a... Like, what? basically what happened is, like, the person wasn't listening to me, and, like, I was trying to... We were trying to get stuff done, and mm -hmm. they just were playing around, and they wouldn't listen to me. And, obviously, that, that upsets me. That upsets, like, a lot of people when people just don't listen. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was very passionate and serious about what we were doing. And... And when it got to the point where, like, I actually, I I stood up from my chair, and I, like, got in that person's face, and I was just screaming and yelling at him, but because, because I'm the nice guy, people, when I get angry, some people don't really see it as me being a threat, so what he was doing, as I was in his face yelling at him, he was laughing at me, which mm -hmm. caused me to get even more mad. Yeah, it was, uh... And I was just, I was screaming at the top of my lungs it's a good thing we were in like we were in a pra it was, this was during band but we were in like a practice room which are usually soundproof yeah so which is probably a good thing in that circumstance <laughs> oh and see uh whenever i was this was in high school band uh i was section leader of my instruments yeah so which means i was like in charge of us getting stuff done you're the big cheese yeah and so like the funny thing was, was whenever people, on the, most of the time people listened to me, and I, it was pretty cool, but, like, on the few occasions where people didn't listen to me, yeah, like, I wouldn't get mad, it was like other people would get mad for me. Like, right, yeah. Like, I would be talking, and then if someone was talking over me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get onto them and be like, hey, shut up. Most of the time. Sometimes I would be, just be like, hey, dude, chill. Yeah. But, like, sometimes there was just, like, other people in our group that was like, hey, guys, shut up, boss is talking. Like, I can dig that. Like, I like it whenever, like, you have enough respect among the group for, like, everyone just kind of has that mutual, like, all right, we all need to listen, and they kind of police themselves. Right. Type of mentality. Right. Like, I think that's whenever you, it's good whenever you have, like, that kind of functioning group. 
Like, a, a leader should be, like, someone that, like, everyone respects because of, like, them as a leader and not just, like, feel like they have to respect someone. Right. It's not, like, out of fear or something like that. Yeah, it shouldn't just be, like, hey, you should respect me because I'm the leader. It should be, like, we respect him and therefore he is the leader. Right. You know? And I feel like that's whenever you have, like, a lot of people, like, not respecting leadership is because they don't feel like someone deserves the leadership. What are we supposed are we still looking for points? There we go. I had to do a tricky jump there. Tricky dicky? Trickery dickery <laughs> doc? <laughs> Man, I got a tricky dicky. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very sexual. Uh, I've... Oh yeah, I got one tricky dicky. <laughs> you want a piece of this tricky dicky? <laughs> Out of everything we've talked about this episode, you're probably going to name it Tricky Dicky, aren't probably. you? Probably. Probably am. Do you want to end it here on one more episode? I mean, level. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do one more level. Alright. Junfos! So, the, obviously, this is like the tropical yeah. level of the yeah, game. It's, yeah. This is World 4, right? Mm-hmm. This is, our, this is the last long world of the game. Oh, yeah? The next world that we're going to only has one area in it, okay. so it's a relatively short. And then what about the last one? Uh, that the one that we get for like 100%ing everything. Once again, only one area, three levels in it, okay. so very short. So we're actually fairly close to the end of this game, I yeah, guess. Yeah, pretty much. Just a little bit sad. But... I know you always kind of get that little twinge of sadness, but also excitement towards the end of the, oh, end of the game. No, 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 Watch Sonic Underground. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hate yourself after it, but it's worth it. Yeah, definitely is worth it. <laughs> it's Someday <laughs> we are gonna be together. It's one of those things that's so bad it's good. Oh my goodness, have you ever listened to the Sonic Racers soundtrack? No. Oh god. Uh, I got good some... or bad? It's. I like it. As cheesy as it may be, I like it. <laughs> Living in the oh, city. These, that guy's back. Yeah. You know you have to survive. You Sonic gotta Racers, keep was that, that a dream show? alive. It's a it's a game. Oh, it is. Yeah, where everything is free. Can't you see? Uh, most of the Sonic music's good. Most of the Sonic music lyrics aren't great. Yeah, <laughs> like um, one song that for some reason I just have stuck in my head. Sonic song I have stuck in my head that I well, it's not stuck in my head, but I can like just sing it out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Is uh the boss theme. From Sonic uh, and the Secret Rings. Oh yeah, and yeah, the Eraser Gen boss fight. Like for some reason, that, that for some reason that song just stuck with me. <laughs> Every single drop of fog you got. You just like it because you think it sounds like Danny DeVito singing. That's right. Yeah, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> it's good to this. And both of us have a love for Danny DeVito as all human beings. <laughs> Well, he just seems like a cool guy. Yeah, no, I would who love to be his friend. Who doesn't, like, take himself too seriously. Like, I feel like if you could hang out with one celebrity for, like, a day, who would it be? Danny DeVito. Oh, gosh. I feel like it would be Danny DeVito, but there's some other people I wouldn't mind hanging oh, out yeah, with. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not saying yeah. Like, maybe Seth Rogen. He seems pretty cool. Yeah, Seth Rogen, yeah. Just cause I, want, <laughs> I actually know who that is. Just because I want to hear his laugh in real life. Because <laughs> his laugh sounds like he's being hurt. <laughs> His laugh sounds like you're hurting him. <laughs> sounds like his lungs are trying to escape from his throat. Never seen a drop of all you got, 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 got. Now, now, see, I'm gonna start singing it <laughs> randomly. That's gonna be stuck. I'm gonna listen to it tonight. I've had a variety of stuff stuck in my head over the last like couple weeks. Like for a while, it was bad country music was just like <laughs> stuck yes, in my it, head. Yes, it was. <laughs> like all this bad country music because I mean we live in Oklahoma so you can't escape from like country music yeah that's just yeah and uh Ooh. <gasps> but then after that what was stuck in my head was like Phantom of the Opera and I was like what I haven't even seen <laughs> like I've never seen the actual performance but I've seen the movie and I, I saw it like literally 10 12 Gosh. years ago and I remember I even fell asleep on part of it because I was like only seven or eight trying to watch a freaking opera musical thing. I'm just going back in here to get the ex other exit. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. I was worried, but now I'm not. Oh, okay. Were you? I wasn't. I just think... I mean, going back to, like, what we were talking about, like, with the anger thing, it's just... <laughs> once again, it's, like, it's so interesting just to see how, like... I'm probably more expressive with my anger mm -hmm. than you are. Like, you're... Like, I always thought, like... Like, I, th I think I'm pretty mellow and chill, 
But, like, I even think Austin's, like, way more mellow and chill than, like, I am. I'm mellow and chill to a fault in some circumstances. Like, I, I, I should probably be more, uh... I should probably have more giddy in my up sometimes than I, I, I do. But I'd rather be more, like, too chill than be, like, too high-strung. Right. But, like, I, um, I forgot which philosopher it was, but there was a philosopher that said, like, you can't be... You can't be too giving, and you can't be too selfish. If you're one of those extremes, it's as bad. Like, being too kind is just as bad as being too uh, mean. Because if you're too mean, everyone's going to hate you. But if you're too kind, everyone's, everyone's going to take advantage everyone's of you. Everyone's going to uh, walk over you. Yeah. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. All right. Whenever we come back next time, we're going to Freeze Lake and Cool Cave. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the coolest of caves. Get on, scrub. <laughs> They just show up and there's just like a bunch of people smoking pot. Like, hey, bomber man, <laughs> what's up, bro? Man, there's like three of you. <laughs> and people, people, it's like I can't get high. I am a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I am above all of you. <laughs> all right, I smoked marijuana before it was cool. <laughs> get on, scrub. <laughs> Disclaimer: We do not smoke marijuana. We do not. You should not smoke. Marijuana. I have an inhaler, but you know, I know common <laughs> <Yeah>. nerd here. <laughs> I need my healer. <laughs> okay. I barely use it, you jackasses. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, you said you used it a lot more when you were younger. Yeah, when I was younger. younger. I don't use it that much anymore. Everyone was. Everyone thought you did. Everyone was like, man, this guy's a loser. He uses an inhaler all the time. But you just reassured them that you do not. Therefore, you're not a loser. I'm not, not saying like people that... Haven't hey, now. Nah, that was the message here. Caleb thinks if you use your internet no. a lot, you're a loser. No, that's okay, not. Bye, everybody. No, 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 no. Don't end the episode.